Hey, it's the Dan Wilson and Tokyo podcast, your one stop podcast for everything Japan and Japanese、ah! culture. Sorry, I had to drink a beer、uh, real quick. Today we are in Shinjuku, Tokyo. If you know anything about me, this is、uh, my favorite town. I fucking hate this place. I think even when I first came out here as a tourist, or not a tourist, like when I was just fresh off the boat in Tokyo, even right away I hated Shinjuku. I don't want to talk too much shit for the people that love it, but、uh, this place is dirty. They got underage drinking delinquents, fucking. Drug addicts. And to top it off, it is overrun by fucking tourists right now. Too many foreigners. Hey, look who's talking. There's a little Japanese joke for you.、Uh, but I guess I'll take you around a walk down、uh, Godzilla Road. I don't know why. All these Japanese people aren't running around terrified. Because look, it's Gojira. It's Gojira. I call it the Godzilla movie joint. I don't know what it's actually called. Let us call this one the Godzilla movie joint. All right? But hey. Let me teach you some Japanese. Let me teach you some Japanese right off jump. So imagine you're out here in the city and you pick up a bad, 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 bad J babe. You know, she's looking fine and she allows you to take her to uh, 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 Pound Town, you know what I'm saying? So take her to the love hole and you see her. Her, her, her kitty cat. And you get in there, and right off jump, it's gushy. You're like, oh, yo, what is this? You get in there, and you, and you, you go, oh,、uh, you pump once, and then, oh,、uh, you pump twice, and on the third pump, oh,、uh, and on one more half on the way out, you go, and you bust a nut everywhere. Little three pump chump. That, ladies and gentlemen, in Japanese, is called n i k o s u r i h a n Oh shit, I know what you're saying, you know what I'm saying? Miko Surihan. Three pump chump. Wasn't expecting that、uh, guy to get in the way of my. Right, right when I wanted to deliver the fucking killer word and explain what three pump chump is in Japanese. Fucking kid has to go, you know what I'm saying, right behind my fucking ear. God damn it. That kid couldn't have picked the worst timing. Stepping on my shit like that? Whatever. I feel the love. So, uh. You know. Now that. Salaryman Satoshi's fired, and、uh, I ain't got no sponsor. I don't even know what to talk about. So I guess I'll just talk shit about Shinjuku walking around, like whatever I see. So if you're just listening to this podcast,、um, you should go to YouTube and watch the video because you can see some fucking, definitely see some adultery up in this city. I guarantee you, per capita in Japan, this is the most adulterous happening neighborhood in the, whole, in the whole country. I bet there's more adultery going on in this area than any other part of Japan. But yo,、um, this is the movie theater I use sometimes, it's Toho Cinema, the, God, the Godzilla movie joint. And,、um, Sometimes when I 
drink way too much, I take a break and I chill right near that Krispy Kreme Donuts. And I get an ice cold milk. I get milk on the rocks. You heard? What you know about milk on the rocks, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the people at Krispy Kreme will look at you like a psychopath. But yeah, let's see. You see all these like young delinquents? <laughs> I, I can tell I'm getting old because I'm talking all that shit and I'm getting irritated just being around all these people. I wish I could visit Japan as if it was my first time again. Cause God damn, this was so awesome. Even though I'm hating on Shinjuku right now, like this shit was dope. And now I'm out here just an angry old man just getting pissed off about all these fucking tourists. Ruining, ruining the city. <laughs> all right, let's do a little loop. Oh, let me, yo, yo, actually let's, let's take a walk down here. And then, and then we'll do a loop. I'm gonna show you this little, uh, what is this, like the maid? Yo, I feel like this pathway I'm walking right now is when uh, Luke Skywalker and Han Solo blow up the Death Star and they get that winner's medal. Like, do, 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 do. Look at all these, like, maid girls trying to get me to drink at their maid cafe. Oh shit, they closed this down. This whole square right here. Sorry if you're just listening this episode. You gotta, you gotta look. Yo, this whole square used to just be like opened up and all these fucking kids would just be drinking and smoking in there and causing a ruckus. Um, they cleaned up their act, huh? And also that's that new Kabukicho tower that fucking tourists love. It's like all these floors just full of adult entertainment. Not, not adult entertainment like getting hand jobs and shit, but like that type of adult entertainment where there's like bars, video games. I'm sure you, I'm sure I'm sure you could get a hand job in there. I'm sure there's a floor. I'm sure there's a floor you can you can get a little hand job at least. You know, we're in Shinjuku. I feel like I could get a hand job at the at the Bagus bowling alley if I really wanted to, you know what I'm saying? But all right. Let's uh let's do the loop I wanted to do. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Let me check uh if we're, just do, if we're just walking and talking, let me uh, see these Patreon member questions. Remember, it's five bucks a month to become a Patreon member. It really helps me out, keeps the lights on, keeps me uh, buying beers for the cameraman here. That's one tall boy a month. And if you become a member, I'll give you a little shout out or you are welcome to ask anything. I kind of like that big babe. It's one of them bigger babes. I like them thick, plump J babes, you know what I'm saying? Not them young, cute, kawaii ones. I like the older, like, woman, plump woman ones. But yeah, so do that shit and, uh... All right. Oh, for fuck's sake, guys. Y'all, motherfucker, y'all know I got all these Patreon members, but none of you motherfuckers wrote in. I got no questions this week? Fuck, all right. Uh, damn, no one. David C., fucking Simmer, Tag Mata, you guys got nothing? God damn it. All right, I guess no Patreon member questions this week. Guess I'll drink this beer and uh, scratch my own anus. Scratch my little butthole in Kabukicho. Oh, so Kabukicho is this area we're in right now inside of Shinjuku. Um, it's a fucking rat hole, let's be real. I know you guys can't smell through the fucking video, but it smells like rat piss. It smells like I, I ate out. I, I had mouth intercourse with the girl and just left it on my upper lip for a week 
And then I drank pee and left that on my mustache. Didn't brush my teeth for a week. And then I breathe into my hand and smell it. That's what right now here in Kabukicho fucking smells like. All right, um, but Kabukicho, yo, this Shinjuku area, maybe I've told this story before, but this is one of the first places I learned a tough lesson out here in Tokyo. I fucking learned that uh, the foreigners out here aren't your motherfucking tomodachi. They are not your friends. Because when I was fresh off the boat, there's an area where all like these Nigerians work. And they'll call you into their bars. I'm pretty sure they're all like mostly Nigerians. Some of them might be from different parts of Africa. But they'll call you into their bars. And remember, like when I'm fresh off the boat still, like the Japanese people are still foreign to me. But the guys who, who talk to me in English are like my people. So I got these Nigerian cats like, hello, my friend. I'm telling you, you must come to my bar. I'm telling you. I'm like, I don't know what that means. He's like, you like, you like boobies? I'm like, hell yeah, I like boobies. And also, thank you for teaching me my first Japanese word. Oppa is, is boobies. And so I go to Homeboy's bar. You know, I didn't even, I didn't even lick on some titties. I'm pretty sure some titties were like in front of me. I may have, I may have, you know, put my face in them a little bit. But I don't think I licked any titties, right? And I drank like two drinks. Something maybe like 30 bucks. On the way out, they charged me like $5,000. It was, it's in Japanese, it's called Botakuri Bar. They fucking target foreigners and they, they overcharge you when you cash out. And if you don't pay up, you kind of like become indebted to the Yakuza or the mob or like that certain bar. And then you're fucked. Um, but yeah, I got roughed up a little bit and I learned a big lesson. Um, yeah, you gotta stay vigilant out here in Shinjuku. Look at that. Look at how Tokyo that looks with the train passing by through the night sky and the, the city lights. Oh man, I don't even know who's watching my fucking videos, but I guarantee you there's one white guy in like Canada, like, oh, like gushing his pants right now, looking at all this dank Japanese scenery. I know, I know you, I know you are. I know one of you white boys is looking at this city like, ooh, once I get out there, boy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get so much J-gash. I mean, probably will. Japanese girls love white dudes. If you got blue eyes and you're tall, oh boy, you will fucking clean up out here. Uh, but you know, I do love this city. For the fact that, you know, I just walk around, drink a nice cold beer, chop shit up with you guys, no worries. All right, I didn't think, uh, where the fuck am I? Oh, let's let's walk through here. There's this little alleyway that uh Oh, you guys are going to love this little fucking walk walkway. Hey, which omoide yokocho should I go? The left side or right side? Yo, check it out. Main one? Yeah, show show real quick. There's two. Yeah. There's left side and there's right side. Let's go down the main one, though. Shit, is this, is this what they call a fucking a vlog? Am I doing a fucking vlog? It started as a podcast, because a Dan Wilson in Tokyo podcast, but I was doing it from my room, and I realized there's no point to me saying I'm in Tokyo without showing you Tokyo. So now you guys brought me out to one of my areas of the town where I might owe some people money. So I got a fucking double double check over my shoulder once in a while making sure my big homie Gregory from the Nigerians is uh not gonna shank me in the back but 
All right. But actually, this uh, this omoide yokocho is what this place is called. Yo, in like the co Japanese comedy world, it's really famous. It's kind of like this. It's like romanticized that before you kind of make it as a comedian, your senpai, like the guy that's above you, will like kind of take you to these smaller bars and like pay for your drinks all night. Well, that looks pretty fun in there. Hey, look, something all you motherfuckers could read. I'm sweating in here. It's the end of October. Ooh. Hey, excuse me. Yo, is that a chainmail dress? Can you peep that real quick? Is that a chainmail dress? God damn. They look sweaty in there. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep walking. I forgot that there might be some people that are only listening. And so if I just, like, shut up for a little bit, it's because I'm looking around. I'm, we're walking through Omoi de Yokocho, which is, like, those tiny little bars to the left and right. And they are jam-packed. Because they are loving this tourism. I bet they hiked up the prices a little bit. Yo, it says one, one skewer, that yakitori, was like 190 to 330. 190 yen to 330 yen. Back in the day, them shits was just 100 yen. I think post-rona, trying to make up for shit. And they know all the tourists are going to come through here. Oh, look at my man with the skewers right there. That smells good. It doesn't smell like three month old vagina anymore. <laughs> or chinkasu, which is dick cheese. Damn, look at all these Japanese words I'm teaching you. That smell like chinkasu for a second. That good old, that good old dick cheese. I'm sweating like a little turd right now. All right. Where the fuck am I? Man. Fucking Shinjuku. I feel like I haven't, I haven't really, you know, this episode is kind of soft, I feel like. Usually I build off of what you guys, uh, some of the questions you guys write in. What else, what else have I done in Shinjuku? Oh man. There's like some clubs or bars that I had a great time at. You only could get into like a friend's recommendation and it's kind of sketchy, right? Like first off, you you gotta like knock and they open that little like window to see who you are. And then you say like who call, who who invited you and then they like undo all these bolts and they let you in. And you know, it's sketch ball, but it's mad fun. And the other day I, I had like a friend in town and, we, and I took him there and it was gone. The whole building was just like empty. I was like, yo, that's some sketchball shit. So yeah, a lot of that happens in the underworld of Shinjuku. Um, yeah, if, if one of the restaurants and, or bars you start to like is in a chain one, there's a chance it might just be up and gone the next day. Uh, right to my left here is a Uniqlo. Uniqlo is on fire right now. I feel like since Roger Federer retired, his motherfucking on shoes and like Uniqlo's is big sponsor. That motherfucker killing it. I love Roger. A graceful ass motherfucker. I bet Roger's never done Miko Sudihan. I bet he I bet Roger makes girls do Miko Sudihan. I bet he gets up in a girl and three of his pumps makes the girl just psh, just splash everywhere. That's how classy Roger Federer is. And he pull, probably pulls out a little a little handkerchief and wipes her down, wipes down her lips, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the southern lips, you know what I'm saying? Before he hits her with the big old smash forehand. Hey, you know, the big Kobe, my man. 
All right. Well, I don't, I'm not recording how long or short this episode was, but hey, hopefully you saw a little bit of Shinjuku and I love you guys. Hey, please write in for next week because I need some fucking material to bounce off you guys. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.